Okay, I suppose one more frickin' video wouldn't hurt. Although I get the feeling I might end up turning into Jim Prophet Communist or WarCorp 666, and there's already enough of them, aren't there? Okay, this one I'm responding towards this page. Uh, called, uh, it's, it's on 2020. Holy shit, 2020. Women's Battle Online Anti-Women anti Hate from Manosphere. Uh, oh dear. Uh, okay. From what I read from the website, this little cute little page, apparently Anita Sarkeesian is using her victimhood to her advantage again, you know, because like she hasn't done that before. And I, I knew that I knew that she was gonna go on, on some stupid, some stupid, stupid news report, whatever. I knew that she was going to abuse that fucking shit. I mean, she done it on CNN, TEDx, and now here on 20 fucking 20. And I barely watch 2020 at all. I really don't give a shit about 2020. But Anita Sarkeesian is using her victimhood again because, yeah, like 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 she hasn't done that before. <sighs> My God, this this woman is completely despicable and pathetic in many many ways. I mean, I have never seen this person any anybody at all, you know cry so freaking much that they're being attacked on YouTube and any other website. Hell, Caden Calvert, I'm pretty sure he's being attacked on YouTube as well, but at least with him, at least with Caden Calvert, he doesn't, you know, cry on CNN or ABC or Fox News or whatever. At least he sucks it up and, you know, continues going on. He doesn't use his victimhood as like some sort of weapon to gain more mass, you know, to grow a freaking ego. No. Instead, you know, you know, instead of actually finishing her kick, you know, her little videos, which I swear to God that by the time she does finish her videos, it, it, it's going to... I'm going to be a freaking old man, or at least somewhere in my 30s, probably having children, because she's taking a long-ass time. I mean, by now, any gamer, any gamer with experience would know these freaking tropes. It doesn't take months, months and months of months of studying. I mean... She lied about the fact that she's a game. She's been a gamer for many, many years, and yet the only games that she plays are games on PC. And you know she complains on how one of the games was such, you know, so misogynistic. Oh, and she thinks we are attacking her because she is a woman with a voice. And not because she's a dumb ass moron who knows nothing about video games. This seems to be the common argument you see with feminist frequency fans every freaking time. I pretty much doubt that this manosphere exists. You know, this. Manosphere only pretty much exists in areas where only um, paranoid men who think that women are trying to take over the world or whatever. Because I'm not a part of the MRA. I'm not, you know, I'm just not. I'm a humanist. Well, more or less a humanist. But, uh, I mean, it's Sarkeesian. It's basically putting... Anyone who opposes 
Well, any male who opposes feminist frequency as a part of this mantle sphere because, you know, they, they, they just fear, they fear that, you know, that she's trying to take away our balls or she's, you know, trying to destroy manhood or whatever. It's not the fact that she's trying to take away something or the fact that she's a woman trying to take out her mind or whatever. It's the fact that she is misrepresenting a community. That's about it. I don't know how else to explain this towards feminists because, you know, these feminists, what they hear in one ear just come out in another ear that says misogyny. That's all about it. That, that's about it. Because that's what feminists are. A group of ignorant, dumbass people. And I have dealt with loads and loads of feminists before. Oh, I just fought it. <sighs> okay. I think I'm done here. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.